What is up guys and welcome back to the Doc Mac car channel. Today, what I'm going to do is replace the engine air filter in a Suzuki Swift. This is a 2016 model. I believe it's got the K14B engine. It's a 1.4 liter engine. Before I get into it, I do a lot of car how-to DIY videos. So please consider subscribing to my channel and also viewing my other videos. I've helped lots of people fix their own cars for cheap and for a very low cost. All right, guys, so the first thing you need to do is pop these clips. Those pop out quite easily. And then what you're going to need is a flathead screwdriver. And we're going to pry on this one. So we're going to pry on the inside of it and then pop it up. And that should come out. I've got this 10 millimeter socket, an extension and a wrench. And then I'm going to set it to loosen. And then there's one 10 millimeter bolt here. All right, so what you need to do is immediately pull out the bolt. You don't want to let it drop inside. So I'm going to place that all on the ground. Or you can place it in a box if you'd like. And then the second thing, what I can do is just push this one back in so that I can get proper access to this. And the same concept goes for almost any vehicle. This is how you replace an engine air filter. Right, so the next thing you want to do is there's this wiring right here and you want to push it away from this filter. There you go. All right, so that's been removed. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to remove this box. And then there's a few tabs right here. What we're going to do. like so and then we're gonna pull this one out sideways slowly and easy does it all right so that's the first part out we're gonna place it on the ground all right with the second part what you'd need to do is you need to make sure that both of these are unlatched And then what you need to do is you can pull this one apart. Now there's two prongs down the bottom. You can't see it from here, but you'll need to lift up the box a bit. And then there you go. This is your engine air filter and only this bottom right hand side is the right hand angle. All the other angles are all curved. All right, and this one is gonna be facing outwards. All right, so this is how the air box looks like on the inside, and you can give it a good clean if at all you would like to. So these are the two tabs which I was referring to. And those two tabs, when you put it back, need to go on the underside, underneath here. And then we can clip it back. All right, guys, we are now going to put the engine air filter back in. Now, you will be replacing this one with a new one. Do not clean it. It's quite cheap to replace, and I'll include a link in the description as to where you can purchase this one.
All you need to make sure is that you fit it at a, about a 25 degree angle and there's two prongs down there. It's got to actually sit into the hook first and then push it up. We're going to now put this one back together and you need to make sure that this piece goes on top and don't ask me how I know. Uh, all right, so we're going to make sure that it goes on top, rock it back and forth like so. And then we need to make sure that it is clipped. Now, this is the actual clip that you need to push it into. This is this hole. And there's another one down there. And then you just need to push it down. Make sure that the holes line up. Give it a gentle tap like so this one first and you always want to thread it in first because if this screw falls somewhere in there you can always get a replacement 10 millimeter screw but you'll always have some rattles in your engine that's not fully tightened just yet and then I'm gonna put the screw back in all right once it's threaded in and it's secure you can then tighten it up that's got to do it. You don't need to over tighten it. Just tighten it snug enough. All right. So this is the second last thing you need to do. You need to push this back into the groove like so. And the last thing is. I'll also show you guys how to pop this screw. So you have a little thing here and you need to push it up. And that's how you don't break the plastic screw that you have. All right, the last thing is, I'm gonna press this screw back down and you're done. You have now changed your engine air filter. All right guys, and the last thing you need to do now is start the engine and just check that everything works. All right guys, and this is how you replace your engine air filter on your K14B 2012 to 2017 Suzuki Swift. I hope this video has been informative and please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And please check out my other videos as well.